I hope you enjoyed us making two examples of a word breakdown structure. Now we have to decompose the WBS further. We defined the WBS and in that definition the lowest level was composed of word packages. In order to plan the project in detail, we have to further decompose these word packages in activities. We will look at the need to decompose those word packages further. We look how we can create an activity description sheet and again we will compare the deterministic with the adaptive environment. Word packages are still too large to be used in the detailed planning of the project. In fact, there may be projects, smaller projects, where the word package is in fact the same level of an activity. In that case, we don't have to decompose further. When we decompose the word packages, we create the schedule activities. We typically call them just activities. The activities are used for estimating, for scheduling, for executing and monitoring and controlling the project. Each activity has a unique identificator and it contains information about time, cost, predecessors and eventually successors. They are the basis for creating the detailed plan. The activity description sheet, also called sometimes a task description sheet, has following information. Its unique ID, which is linking the activity to the WBS and the OBS. A short description of the activity. The deliverables, completion and success criteria. The owner and team members, if already known. Duration and cost. Cost and duration may be determined later when we have more information about the people working on the activities. We may have planning information like start and finish. There are some assumptions we may include when we describe the activity. And we may have additional information that can be completed during execution uh, because at that moment we may have actual information about time and cost of the activities. Let's look at the difference between a deterministic and adaptive environment when we are planning projects. In the deterministic approach, the scheduling is done by the critical path method. We will see that later in chapter 7. All the planning is done at the beginning of the project. In an adaptive approach, however, we use an agile scheduling method. The way of scheduling is iterative. A backlog is created in which you find all the activities and tasks to be completed. It is typical for an agile approach and it's a form of rolling wave. There is also the possibility to schedule on demand and on demand scheduling is typical for a Kanban system. Flexible adaptation of work packages is possible because we can adjust flexibly to changing needs. The adaptive approach does not create a complete planning at the beginning, but depending on the Scrum or Kanban method, 
it will be either done by iterations, each iteration a new planning will be done, or with the Kanban system, it's an on-demand, continuous way to create the project deliverables. So, great job. Ready for the next session? I will see you there. Thank you.